All right, here we go. It was good, but damn it, I'm still hot for a stiff prick. <laughs> I know what you mean, oh. pussy buddy. Nothing beats well, well, hot well. for a stiff prick. We should get one of the CBS lawyers. <laughs> 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 it was good, but damn it, I'm still hot for a stiff prick. Damn it. I know what you mean, pussy buddy. Nothing beats it. While we're on the subject, why don't you try the delivery boy at the grocery store? Is he any good? Is he any good? Shit. He's got a cock on him like a horse. He's circumcised, and when his head swells, it turns rose red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about it. <laughs> Makes me put my finger up my cunt. <laughs> you mean your fucking hand, you bitch. That cave you have could take an elephant. <laughs> now, come on, get off your phone. That's right. How about some more animals? The horse and the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> what the... F she's, she's saying she has a large vagina. I think that's what she's getting at. My goodness. Pussy if buddies. If your cunt was any bigger, there'd be stalactite hanging in it. <laughs> Jeez, these are awful. You mean your fucking hand, you bitch. Yes. Shave that platypus. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> animals. It's all Mouth. animal stuff. Yes. Yeah. You hippo. Hold on one second. Bitch, that cave you have could take an elephant. Now, come on, get off the phone. I'm going to order some more bananas <laughs> from the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, did you bring home those bananas for Nana? <laughs> you know what a three-pointer is? Nana's a three-pointer. I've got one in the mouth, pussy, and ass. That's a three-pointer. I'm a five-pointer if this one three can, young Bill. Be careful, I'll get black cum all over my charm bracelet. <laughs> Don't tell your grandfather. <laughs> I've got more black semen in my mouth than the African Navy. Keep it down, Bill. You'll talk about this on Fox someday. <laughs> That's right. I'm doing a female rip-off voice of Anthony's 1940s guy. <laughs> Whatever works. I changed gender and I added cunt. It's a different person. Matt from St. Louis. I like to make werewolf cunt movies. <laughs> I don't like the A train. I like the N train. <laughs> now you go play, Bill. Nana's taping a. Oh, I don't know. Nana got nervous. <laughs> Nana got nervous. They wait outside my door like it's the unemployment line. I tell them there's a little government cheese in my womb, <laughs> and they dive in head first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't bother Nana when she's getting a deep digging, Bill. Your grandfather, since the war, hasn't been able to get it up. <laughs> you six foot nine, four year old, with a big cock, apparently, according to the transcripts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, grocery boy comes over for some fucking. <laughs> We're back to the eight track porn era. Grocery boy comes over for some fucking. Yes. This is okay. an eight track sandwich. Eight track thing. tape. It's audio porno. Yeah. People were supposed to pop this in, listen to it, and jerk off, I guess. Yeah. Theater of the mind for your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's the doorbell. Uh oh. Eager grocery boy. No kidding. Two quick rings. There, why don't you wait? Yes. I've got your groceries. I hope everything's here that you ordered. So do I, honey. Mm. So do I. Um, where do you want it? For now, the kitchen table will do. <laughs> you must be tired from all those deliveries. Would you like a drink before you go? Oh, I sure would. I go on my lunch break now. Oh, what do you usually eat for lunch? Huh, just what I'm looking at. And what do you mean by oh. that remark? Oh, an old bitch. <laughs> I eat old bitch. In the classic sense, I cook them on a spigot and I eat them. <laughs> I eat their leathery feet with a nice Chianti. 
just what I'm looking at. I love the crinkle of the bag through half of the conversation. And, and how come the delivery boy is 40 years old? He's awful. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Yeah. Man. It's fucking Sam the Butcher who showed up. <laughs> What's, what sex crime Whoa. is he hiding from? <laughs> uh, right. He's half retarded with a monster cock. <laughs> yeah. He's had hair on it. He's had like curly piglet tail hairs on it since he was four. <laughs> old retard dick. <laughs> nice doily hairdo, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're taking off again. We were in the uh, the plane was in the hangar for a while, just enjoying a little conversation and a little food as we fuel up the plane while the plane has taken off again. Just what I'm looking at. And what do you mean by that remark? They told me at the store that Carol Peters recommended me. Baby, she eats all ten inches of my prick. Hey, you! Ah, uh, stop the bullshit, slut. <laughs> you don't have a damn thing on under that mini nighty. You want a good fucking so bad you can taste it. So stop screwing around and get the damn thing off. Wow. And then and then all of a sudden, wait a minute. This isn't 20 Elm Street? <laughs> no, honey, this is 18 Elm Street. Well, it looks like I've made a mistake. The slut I'm looking for is next door. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> By the sound of this guy's acting, it sounds like he doesn't really like pussy, if you know what I mean. Uh, He's awful. His acting stinks. He's got a 10-inch cock. Of course yep. he does. A 10-inch prick. Prick. A 10-inch prick. I've always hated the word prick. That was terrible. It's an oldie-time word for a cock. Now it's pretty much... Used as you know that that guy's a fucking prick. Right. right. But don't don't be a, such a fucking prick. Hey, come here, sit on my prick. You don't say, hey, so she's sucking my prick. It's terrible. Oh. A mini nighty. Yeah, I see you ain't got nothing on under that mini nighty. Carol. What the hell is that? Carol Peters recommended me. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Oh. Well, the guy Gladys gets... Gladys Moorhead. <laughs> what? I fucked Ethel Bombach so hard <laughs> that her asshole pink socks. <laughs> That's right. Helen put two fingers in my ass and left a press-on nail on my colon. I had to go to the hospital, honey. You know how it is. <laughs> Mildred Blumberg's teeth fell out when she <laughs> fucking sucked my prick. I gave a good deep dicking to Vivian Tripoli. <laughs> Where's the E Rock? This is the time we need it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where is it? He's. Uh, it's great. Then he, uh, with that. Where's the sound guy? I don't this know. This is where we need sounds for the show. He's very busy. Doing what? what? I Besides don't know. Besides not exercising he... or fixing Mump's neck, which he has. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid fat. I bet you right now he's doing a headstand to see if the fat will kind of sink. He just wants to see if he still has a jawline. His, his head has a foreskin. <laughs> 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 pulled down around his his neck. He's 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 prickhead. <laughs> That's why you kiss his cheek sometimes. It smells like cheese. <laughs> hey, thigh throat. Why did you take off? <laughs> God damn that E Rock. I needed a good deep fucking, and he wouldn't show up. He walked in with a Manila envelope. I said, what do you usually eat on your lunch break? He said, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, you may I may have misunderstood. He could have said everything. That's right. I, was, I hope you. I hope Rock realizes you make it so easy. <laughs> oh shit! I said, "Come on, Rock, fuck me hard." So he said, "All right," and started to work for me. <laughs> Rock, you're you kind of have a. In a a very important position on the show. You can't really leave that area too much. Speaking of positions. That's right. Speaking of positions. <laughs> he bent me over and used my back as a table to eat potato chips and mayonnaise sandwiches <laughs> off of. He didn't even put that little prick near me. Boy, that Carol sure was wrong. This e -rock likes cake, not pussy. <laughs> like, yeah, the grocery delivery guy comes over and just delivers groceries. <laughs> That's right. He not only didn't fuck me, but he ate half of the groceries. <laughs> he left all of the milk and non-fat yogurt untouched. <laughs> there were two chips left in the bag. <laughs> like, like, his whole job is to jazz up shit. And, and trust me, you could have really helped us out with the Lee Abrams interview with jazzing it up with shit. Well, the, oh, a little music. A little music or something. And that Pink Floyd would have been good. Yeah. He'll do a little less than them as he's talking about Floyd. So know. what do you mean by what do you mean by that? Well, I <laughs> <laughs> I go to usually lunch now. All right, let's get uh, back uh, to the 
Can we get back to the deep dicking? Because this guy gets very aggressive in this. Ah. I love this guy. He called her a slut. He knows. Yes. He well, he gets really aggressive, too. He's got a 10 inch prick. He sure does. All <laughs> Carol like what you see, lover. Mm. Cunt, with a body like yours, you should be in a high class whorehouse. <laughs> now stop the bullshit and come over here. Now, get down on your knees. Oh, feel me up a little, Jimmy. Uh -huh. Not on your life. Waiting will make your pussy hotter. Now, unzip like, my fly and take my cock out. This is it like Angry Town. They live in Angry Town. Yeah, this guy. Everyone's mad. They're all getting laid and stuff, but they're all pissed off at each other. Yeah. Fuck you, cunt. Right. I'm gonna fuck you. Hey, how about, uh, sweetheart? How about, hey, baby? How about you <laughs> fill me up first? <laughs> That'll be the day. I'm not squeezing those saggy sweat socks full of sand. How about you feeling me up, Jimmy? Nothing doing. Get on your knees. It'll make your pussy hotter. When you're stuck to the linoleum, then I'll pick you up and give you a good spin fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they're just awfully unsexy gonna, people. And they're just Fuck angry. you, come in your ass, and then I'm going to scram. <laughs> Well, get to it then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, just, like, everyone's pissed. Beat right. my ass while I watch Cavalcade. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there was a war going on, and everyone was uh, a little uptight. <laughs>